So then production started and the gameplay programmers were put on the project. Uh, they started analyzing, of course, the original game. We had to reverse engineer everything, you know, measure how fast the arm goes out when you shoot it out, how fast you swing back and forth, how fast you run across the ground, at what speed you fall down and everything. We had to kind of lock down the camera for a side the scroller view and um, build the world from square blocks, uh, just as the original game. Although we built it not only vertically and, and horizontally, but also you know in depth to make a, create a real 3D background you know, and make it as beautiful as we could. In the beginning, the game wasn't beautiful at all, of course, but then later on when we started merging the new building blocks and, and props that the graphics team had built, uh, then it started looking really good. Since uh, BCR is built on the same engine as NextGen BC, we can also reuse the editor made by Martin Van. This lowers the time before we can start producing levels. It's very easy to use the editor because all you have to do is choose a building block or a tile and then just paint with it. This way we create a level very easily. The most powerful tool is that it's built in game, which means that we, with a push of a button, can test the level we're producing. My role changed throughout the project, and later on I moved on to doing more of a sort of, um, well, actually taking the models, uh, the drawings into modeling stage and um, sitting with the artists doing the, the graphics, the 3D models, and uh, made sure to, yeah, to take a look at the drawings and what kind of details we need to focus on, and what details were too, well, too detailed, too complex to uh, be readable in a small uh, platform game. I try to keep the design of the characters as simple as possible, but i um, also trying to add elements which uh, you can clearly see separates uh, the different body parts, like the lower leg from the upper leg and such. Most, most of the time we get an opportunity to talk a little bit about each character, what they're supposed to do in the game. And so if you don't like the uh, direction he's taking, you can argue with him for a while. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, discuss how it works in the game, how the character is going to work in the game. The biggest challenge for me was to make things work, you know, because they're so small on the screen. I think Wendy felt that too. Yeah, definitely. They're so small and Yoko has all these nice details and characters. Most of the stuff you do and want to uh, have in the characters, like clothing lines and, you know, seams and all of that, we, we early <laughs> in the project we realized this is not going to work. So we have to think bigger and m less detail, more... More color, I think. Yeah, more color, yeah. more uh, more bigger shapes. Yeah, definitely. Which, which you know, as an artist, you, you see all these details on the concepts and you want to add them so badly, but you know, it's, you don't see it in, in the game. But that's an art in, in itself. Yeah. Bits and pieces on every character glows just to make the movement more fluid. and Yeah, and lot. also in the different environments too, because we're dealing with uh, different lighting environments as well, and these low detail... It's crazy environment. <laughs> yeah. Jakob and Stellan makes color go to the limit actually definitely with the lighting and so yeah we have to keep it simple mm. even more simple i think on the uh, textures hey the neutral zones in the original game weren't that interesting so i started thinking that maybe we could add some kind of an obstacle course in every you know each one of these zones so that you can go there and practice your bionic arm skills and that idea kind of evolved into something that became a big part of what BCR is. Challenge rooms are rooms filled with obstacles uh, where you need to take the player from uh, point A to point B as uh, fast as possible. The bionic arm is such an unconventional mechanic that we really wanted to explore uh, everything that um, it could offer. What we had in mind when we started building these rooms were uh, old uh, NES games uh, like uh, Solomon's Key, uh, Wrecking Crew, uh, Ice Climber, uh, that's just uh, uh, very basic, uh, very uh, short stages on contained areas uh, and that's what we wanted to uh, build on. Old NES games, almost all of them have great music. I mean, Capcom has a history of having, I mean, pretty awesome music in all their games. 
I have the honorable task of, of writing the music for BCR, and of course, I want to keep all the music from the original in there. So all that I did is kind of remix the, the original tracks. I didn't use, you know, the sounds maybe from the original, not in all the songs, but I sampled a little bit from the NES tracks too, but pretty much produced new tracks with the same melodies and harmonies, but you know, with a more modern sound. That would sound a little bit more like modern breakbeat or, or big beat or, or house or whatever. I love the music from, from these old games, like the, the Capcom games. And I, when I was a little kid back in, uh, yeah, in grade school, I would record the music uh, from, from my video games onto my cassette player so that I can listen to the music even when I wasn't playing the game.